What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So, um, I was talking to my mom and sister about a conversation I was having with the Heavenly Father about peace. You know what I'm saying? And why come it so hard to have peace? Like, you can do certain things that brings temporary joy, but once it's over, it feel like you still back to ground zero. You know what I'm saying? It's still something that's bothering you. It's still something that's just stealing your peace away because there's things going on in your mind. There's things that you're still talking about. There's conversations that may have been had that rub you the wrong way. There's things that probably could have happened while you was driving and somebody cut you off and it just make you, you know, go into a rage and, you know, you might have road rage or something like that. There's things that's happening in life that sometimes still our peace away. And, you know, I just recently did a word when the Heavenly Father said, the war that's worth fighting is the one that's within yourself because when you win that battle, that's how you obtain true peace. And then the Heavenly Father said, what does that look like? And I said, I really don't know. And the father said, when you learn how to let stuff go, when you learn how to leave it in his hands, knowing that he will fight for you, he will fight on your behalf. And he said, the only way you can obtain peace that surpasses all understanding is when you abide in Lord Jesus and he in you. Because One day I was talking to the father, right? And I asked him, what does it mean to obtain peace that surpasses all understanding? What does that actually mean? And he said to literally become unbothered. And you do this by leaving it in God's hands. See, what it really means is this. Life going to continue to happen. It's going to be stuff in life that continues to bother you. It's going to be stuff in life that happens that can potentially steal your peace away. But when you recognize God to be the center of your life, to be the one you depend on, to be the one that will never leave your side, will never leave nor forsake you. When you understand who God is in your life, that's how you hold on to your peace because God is the representation of hope. He gave us an expected end. So through Lord Jesus, we can meet that expected end. And that's the hope we need to have in order to persevere through certain stuff that may happen in life, stuff that's outside of our control. In John 16, verse 33, it say, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. You know, that's a scripture that I like to go back to when I'm trying to understand how to have peace in situations that's difficult. You know, when I'm dealing with hostile people, when I'm dealing with people that may not believe or people that just want to challenge you in everything you say. I go back to that scripture because it reminds me that when you abide in Lord Jesus, that's how you might have peace. That's how you're going to have peace. But then the scripture goes on to say, in the world, ye shall have tribulation. So basically, when you're dealing with the world, when you're dealing with people that don't live for the heavenly father, when you're dealing with stuff that's not a part of the kingdom of God, you will have tribulation. And here's the thing. We're going to always have to deal with something that wants no part of God because that's the world we live in. So it will always be someone that the enemy can use. Or it might be a situation that happens in life that tries to steal your peace away. But then Lord Jesus went on to say, but be of good cheer for I have overcome the world. 
So that's why when you abide in Lord Jesus, he overcame every single thing that wants to steal your peace away. He overcame anger. He overcame rage. He overcame hostile people that tried to come at him. Every single thing we deal with on an everyday basis, Lord Jesus overcame. And he said, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. So what that taught me was this. Matter of fact, let's go back to another scripture. In Psalms 37, verse 4, it say, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So what that scripture let me know is this. If peace is something that you desire, when you delight yourself in the Lord, he shall give you your heart desire. And it also reminds me of another scripture when it, it, it talks about wherever your heart is, there will your treasure be also. So when you live in a life of gratitude with having the presence of the Lord in your life, that's how you learn how to let go of all this stuff in the world that will steal your peace. Because what, I'm, what I've recognized about peace is this. It's worldly things that steals our peace away. That's why when you do something that's fun, then after you get that moment of joy, it goes away when the experience is over. Because it's something that can fade away. But Lord Jesus, he's always there by your side. You get what I'm saying? He never fades away. He will never leave nor forsake you. He's always there, even in your most critical moments of your life. When you're in your most darkest place in your life, Lord Jesus is always there. And he's the one who will hold on to your peace. That's how you have peace that surpasses all understanding. Because it be stuff that happens in our life that we may not understand. But yet somehow we still have peace because we're still holding on to the hope of Lord Jesus. So to go back to gratitude, the more you appreciate who Lord Jesus is in your life, the more you appreciate Lord Jesus, the more you appreciate the fact that when you called upon his name, he took you out of darkness. When you accepted, accepted him in your heart, mind and soul, he saved you. You obtained salvation. You was forgiven for all of your sins. When you appreciate everything that Lord Jesus represent in your life, that's how you hold on to your peace. And basically what that means is you can lose it all. It could be stuff happening in your life. But if you keep your focus on Lord Jesus, you will have peace in whatever circumstances you may be facing in life. Of course, it's going to be some stuff that bother you. But the more you keep your focus on Lord Jesus, that's how you get out of that dark place much faster. Because when we dwell in a dark place because we continue to look at the situation as being 100% bad, that's how things get worse. But what I say at the beginning of the video, to obtain true peace is to literally learn how to let go and let the Heavenly Father fight your battles. That's how you win the war from the inside because you know who's the strong tower in your life in the day of trouble. That's the Lord. Continue to turn to Him when things are bothering you because He's going to help you get through it. Isaiah 26, verse 3, it say, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. That's one of my favorite scriptures. That's one of my favorite scriptures because it lets you know that when you keep your mind on Lord Jesus, he will keep you in perfect peace. And you know, it also let us know that we got to trust that the Heavenly Father has already made a way for us. 
You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of times our peace is stolen by the enemy because he's using whatever situation we're going through to put intrusive thoughts in your mind. He's trying to make you believe that this situation won't get better. Your life won't get better. He's trying to make you believe that. But you got to trust that the Heavenly Father has already made a way through Lord Jesus. At the end of the day, how to obtain peace that surpasses all understanding is that you trust the Heavenly Father with all your heart by having faith in Lord Jesus, knowing that he has already overcame the stuff that we are currently struggling with. So it just goes back to trust. You got to trust that God has made a way. You got to live a life of gratitude. Be grateful for what the Heavenly Father has already done for you in your life. There are situations in the past that you thought you wouldn't make it through, but you're watching this video today. That shows you that you made it through. That shows you that the Heavenly Father didn't allow the enemy to take you in that situation. He kept you. You get what I'm saying? He kept you in perfect peace. You didn't get broken down. So that's also creates the hope that we need to persevere through difficult times that we may enter into in the future or even now. So we got to live a life of gratitude as well. And we got to be thankful. We got to enter into the Heavenly Father's gates with thanksgiving. We got to appreciate the Father for who he is in our life. When you delight yourself in him, he will give you your heart desire. So if it's peace you desire, that's what the Heavenly Father will give you. But we got to we gotta trust in God. So that's just the conversation that I was having with the Heavenly Father in prayer. And he spoke to me in my spirit. And he said, the best way to obtain peace is to literally learn how to let go. Let go of all the stuff that's bothering you and leave it in God's hands. And he will show you how to live a better life. He will lead you to a better life. He will teach you. He will bless you with wisdom, knowledge and understanding and more clarity the more you trust him for a better life. Nothing in this world can give you peace. Nothing. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care if you got the nicest clothes, the nicest homes, the nicest um, cars. Uh, you got a business. I don't care. Like, I don't even care if you doing something fun. Something you considering fun. That can't even give you peace. And the father gave me a reason why. Because if it's something that can go away, if it's something that you can leave out of the presence of, that's why you can't hold on to your peace. Because it gives you joy momentarily. But when you remain in the presence of God, the words say, he will always be by your side. He will never leave nor forsake you. He will hold you by his, he will, he will lead you by his righteous right hand. That's Lord Jesus. See, God is the only one that will remain in your life forever. And he holds on to your peace. He's the one that can give you joy forever in your heart. Continue to hold on to that hope of Lord Jesus. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.